Hello, I'm Duncan Wells. Today, I'm going to tell you about lifesavers. Man overboard. How do we get a man in the water back on board if he can't help himself? You see, we can't reach down to him to attach a line. So let's not go down to him, let's get him to come up to us with a lifesaver. A lifesaver is a 3 meter length of incredibly strong 3 millimeter floating rope which is spliced into a loop with a handle formed in one end. The other end is attached with a strap hitch knot to the lifting becket or lifting loop in the life jacket. We place a band around the lifesaver and then pack it into a pouch which is taped closed and hangs off the oral inflation tube or which adheres with a sticky to the bladder of the life jacket if the oral inflation tube is on the opposite side of the lifting becket. The lifesaver is then ready to be boat hooked off the inflated life jacket by the rescuer. You take the lifesaver from the packaging and pass the loop which is protruding from the bottom of the pouch through the lifting becket or lifting loop. Then take the triangle and pouch through the loop of the lifesaver to form a strap hitch knot. Hang the pouch off the oral inflation tube using the handy hole in the tag, or simply peel the protective strip off the sticky and stick the pouch to the bladder, and then close the jacket. As a reminder that the jacket has a lifesaver inside, attach the special tag with lifesaver fitted to a zip or convenient point on the front of the jacket. Being yellow, the tags stand out. When the life jacket is inflated, the lifesaver is there on the jacket, ready to be grabbed by the rescuer with the boat hook and pulled out of its pouch. Some people prefer to have their lifesaver loose in the jacket so that when it deploys, the lifesaver flies out and floats on the water. We provide the lifesaver ready packed in the pouch so that it's retained on the life jacket when deployed, but if you want it loose, simply remove it from the pouch. With the lifesaver in hand, you can now attach the man to the boat. If the boat is moving about a bit, add in a line to the lifesaver and lay the man off so he's out of harm's way while you set up your preferred retrieval rig. We use a six-part hark and tackle with ratcheted blocks, which we hoist on the spinnaker halyard. Everything has been pre-measured. We have marked the halyard so we know that raised to this height, the bottom block will be at deck level to take the lifesaver, and yet we'll have enough height to bring the man in over the top guard wire. With the tackle, or handy billy if you like, set, we clip the lifesaver into the carabiner on the bottom block. We always use carabiners for MOB retrieval, never snap shackles, which are difficult to handle with cold fingers and which can come undone. Carabiners are the way to go. They're quick to work with, you can whack a carabiner at what you want to attach it to, and we use climbing carabiners which have soft, finger-friendly gates. We will also want to bring the man out horizontally if we can, and so we use our rescue sling. This drops down under his knees and clips into the carabiner. Now it's just a matter of hauling away and lifting him out. The six-part tackle allows a small person to lift a large person out. The man will catch on everything possible as he comes up, tow rail, guard wires and so forth, so the rescuer needs to be there to push him clear of obstructions. He comes up over the guard wires and onto the deck. And that's how we get a man back on board our 35-foot sailing boat. Bigger, fully crewed boats with higher freeboards often use a swimmer whom they lower into the water. Imagine how much easier it is to retrieve the casualty if they simply have to grab the handle of the lifesaver off the life jacket, pull it out of its pouch and hand it up to warmer hands on deck. It's simpler and quicker than trying to get a strop round the casualty. If you have a motorboat, have a look at the video here, which takes you through how to retrieve a man back on board, how we find height on a motorboat to lift a man and the six-part tackle that we require to lift him if we don't have our own crane or mechanical hoist. We also offer the option of attaching the lifesaver to the lifting becket with a soft shackle, so you can remove the lifesaver quickly if required. When it comes to man overboard retrieval, it all starts with the lifesaver in the life jacket. Without that, there's very little chance of us getting him back on board if he cannot help himself. We don't go down to him, he comes up to us. He has his means of retrieval back on board, stowed within his life jacket. He has an MOB lifesaver. Lifesavers are available from all good chandlers or online at moblifesavers.com.